So let's do one more problem involving inflection points. So let's look at the following example. Find the points of inflection. And discuss the concavity of the graph of the function f of x is x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 18. So if I'm going to look for inflection points or concavity, I need the second derivative. So start with our first derivative. Just use the power rule. Find our second derivative, again using the power rule. It's a polynomial, so it's always defined. If you set it equal to zero and solve, you'll get x equals three. So on my number line, the only number I mark is three. Pick a test point smaller than three. We're gonna go with zero, bigger than three, four. Plug them into your second derivative. If I plug in 0, you'll get negative 18. Well, negative. If you plug in into plug in 4, you'll get 24 minus 18, and it's positive. So right here, I do have an inflection point. So we need to go back to our original function and plug in 3 into your function. And I'm going to, it'll be 3 cubed minus 9 times 3 squared plus 24 times 3 minus 18, which works out to be 0. So my inflection point is the point 3, 0. And then we want to talk about the concavity. So where is it concave up? Where is it concave down? You got to look back at your sign chart here. Concave up when it's positive. And your concave down where it's negative. So here it's concave up from 3 to infinity. It's concave down from negative infinity to three. Yeah. So there's my one inflection point, and I know where it's concave up and where it's concave down.